Captain's Kitchen, brought to you by Wind Rider, the finest foul weather gear for any climate. Fish head soup, one of my absolute favorite recipes. Great family style dish as well. Any time of the year, everybody loves it. It's, uh, it could be a little bit intimidating, but I'll tell you what, it's really simple with just some basic ingredients. You just have to do it the right way. It all starts with the stock. What I do is take a pot of boiling water, I submerge a large fish head. It could be a tile fish, grouper, mutton snapper. They all work equally as well. Make sure that that head is really clean. Cut out the gills. From there, you're gonna add just some basic elements to create a fish stock, carrots, celery, onions, a whole garlic bulb, uh, a couple of lemons sliced up, some fresh herbs from the garden. I put in some parsley and some dill and a whole bunch of Florida sport fishing seasoning. I add a little bit of salt and pepper as well, bring to a raging boil, and I let it boil for about 90 minutes until all of that meat disintegrates off the skull and you just end up with a large pot of just delicious stock. From there, make sure that you strain it really well through a colander because all you want is that liquid. That's gonna be the base for your fish head soup. So now that we've got our broth simmering, and I'll tell you what, it just smells so amazing. I'm gonna to start to add the ingredients for the soup. I'm gonna start off with two pounds, three pounds of potatoes that I cut up into just little one inch cubes. I'm gonna put those in first because of course they're gonna take just a little bit longer to get softer than everything else a pound of carrots. You can use fresh carrots or those that are already pre-cut. Celery, fresh chopped celery, put that in there. I mean, already from just these ingredients, you've got to agree that this looks absolutely delicious and it's gonna taste even better. Now what I do is take a red bell pepper, diced up. It adds a little bit of sweetness to the soup. It just kind of changes the taste a little bit. And of course, corn about a pound of just yellow corn because I love corn in my soup. And I pop that in there. And the only thing left is some diced onion, of course, just even more flavor. And I mean, with all of the flavor from the stock and all of the flavor that we're adding now, the layers are just crazy. So we're just gonna mix this up. And I've got some fish, a couple pounds of fish ready to add just chopped up into little cubes, cleaned up tile fish, but I'm not gonna put it in right now because if I do, you know, this is gonna simmer for about an hour and all that fish is gonna disintegrate. So I saved that for the very, very end. Once all of the vegetables are nice and soft, I'm literally gonna take the soup off the heat and then I'm gonna put the fish in and just let it sit for about 10 minutes before I serve, really simple. So let's put a lid on this, bring it back to a simmer, and we'll see in about, I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour when this is ready to go. So we've added our fish. It's been about 10 minutes. The fish is cooked through and we are ready to plate. Smells amazing, looks amazing. This is absolutely one of the healthiest and best tasting soups you have ever had. And now we're just gonna kind of finish it off with some oyster crackers, just for the tradition. And a little bit of parsley. And that's it right there. Look at that. Oh. oh, I've been waiting for this all day.